Hey everyone, it's Sean Mayo, and I just wanted to show you a little tip on um, if you wanted to add a, uh, a sub user um, and you want to give them special permissions uh, because you uh, obviously don't want them to have access to your bank account and all your other, um, you know, Amazon information. So if you're hiring a virtual assistant or you have employees or family members doing work for you. Um, what you can do is add a um, add a sub account, and then you can grant all the permissions that you want uh, to them. Uh, so uh, the way to do that is um, I'm going to post a direct link, uh, so in the description, so you can just go straight to this page, uh, and basically all you need to do is uh, enter their email address. and hit send in invitation uh, it'll send it to that address and then all they'll have to do is go to uh, they'll have to go and accept the link so once it sends that message we can uh, go to our mailbox and you're going to they will see a message like this They will, you'll need to create a new user account if it doesn't already exist. Uh, and then you'll you will get this confirmation code. You've been invited to become a registered user of a Seller Central. Um, so you get the confirmation code, and uh, then you would have to go um, back over here. You would reload and re-log in, and you will see uh, that's now a pending user with their confirmation code, and you hit confirm and it'll now say they've uh, successfully been added and uh, now you can add their user permissions. <clears throat> uh, so this is basically what uh, they have access to. So uh, there's four options uh, for most items. None, view, view and edit, or admin. So uh, none, they won't be uh, allowed to see the item. Uh, view, they can just um, view, um, you know, for example, um, you know, promotions, they could view the promotions, but they wouldn't be able to edit them. Um, so you have uh, view, view and edit, so they can view and edit, or uh, admin, which would allow them, uh, you know, to delete uh, things. So you probably only want, um, you know, the admins for yourself. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, everything is set to none all the way down. Um, you know, and only give them access to uh, what they need. Um, internal administrative tools. Um, so, we set most things to none. Um, imaging upload, um, we definitely, uh, you know, you want to turn that on. Um, fulfillment settings, so, um, you know, if you have them doing anything with the manage, uh, FBA inventory, or doing shipments, printing labels, uh, they have to have access to this. Um, you know, gift options we're usually going to leave off. Um, uh, you know, unless they're creating listings, then you can uh, have that for, um, that'll basically let you turn on and off the, uh, the options to give gifts. Um, so, if you want uh, your customers to be able to send items of a gift, have gift wrapping, um, any of those options, you'll need to have that on. 
um, manage your cases. Uh, we definitely use that uh, so then they can open cases, they can uh, read and respond to Seller Central. So if you have them opening cases for um, missing or damaged items or um, you know missing items from your shipments, uh, they, they need to be able to uh, view and edit on that one as well. Um, seller configuration, uh, we usually leave off, uh, as well as sh uh, shipping settings. Um, of course, uh, you know, we usually let uh, them work on the shipping settings. Uh, the tax settings, of course, I only do myself. Um, and here, user permissions. Um, this one can be complicated because it's either on or off. So, uh, as it says, it makes this user a super user. So if they can edit user permissions, uh, they obviously can edit their own user permissions and it makes them administrator of, um, of everything. So they can set everybody's settings. So uh, I would n never give access uh, to this option to anyone. Uh, the tax document library, um, we leave off. Um, the seller fee tax invoices, uh, selling globally, uh, promotions, uh, all these options uh, we leave off. Um, it's really not going to matter much, but uh, you're just, uh, most people aren't going to need to use them. Uh, and the product ads, uh, as well, we do that ourselves, but if you're hiring somebody to deal with the product ads and the invoices um, and all that, you might want to give them access to that. Um, the payments, uh, this is going to show you the, the, the payments report. Uh, so they're going to see how much you're making, um, you know, all, uh, everything to do with the payments, the payment summary, you know, the individual payments. So uh, if you don't want people to know that, you need to leave that to none. And uh, if you have somebody dealing with A to V, uh, if you ever get an A to V claim, if you have your employee working on that, which you know you probably would if you have a virtual assistant, uh, you have to give them access to that. Um, as well as uh, fulfillment reports, this is the manage inventory, um, the manage FBA inventory, and uh, the shipment page. So if they're creating shipments or doing anything with your FBA listings, uh, they have to have access to be able to view that. Um, feedback is for dealing with the feedback and um, as well as your customer metrics. Uh, so if you have your customer metrics page, this um, is going to allow them to view that. Um, as well as business reports, this will show you your daily summaries, your yearly, what, um, you know, whatever you're looking at. Uh, if you want them to be able to see all those reports, uh, you have to turn that on. Um, and the selling coach, um, most people don't really use that. Um, so, you know, if you want them to be viewing that, uh, you have to turn that on. Um, refunds, uh, this gives them the option to be able to um, issue refunds to people. Um, and this one will allow somebody to um, edit your info and policies page. So, uh, you know, if you don't plan on having somebody to do that, I would leave that as none as well. Uh, if you have somebody rewriting it, uh, of course, they're going to need to have access to that. Um, the only other options are uh, managing orders, managing returns, and, uh, you know, your transaction um, reports. Uh, so it says enable scheduling and download of order reports and update of adjustments of shipping confirmations. Uh, so, if you have some to manage your order, this will allow people, uh, again, to give refunds and um, the promotions will allow you to manage the promotions. And uh, that, you know, um, that about covers everything. Uh, you know, of course, uh, all these options are going to be uh, usually turned on because if you're allowing them to change pricing or inventory, uh, upload inventory, creating listings, uh, these are the options you want. So uh, if you're going to allow people to do, you know, all your online things, like uh, I have a virtual assistant, 
Uh, we have several of them that work on Amazon, so that's what we give them access to. Of course, we don't give them access to our banking information, uh, which we already covered. So what you need to look at okay. is only give them access to what you uh, want them to have access to. Only allow people to work on what, you're, what you want them to work on. And what, what we've done is we've created our own Amazon accounts to give access to um, the people so they don't have their own uh, account. Uh, we create our, uh, a separate email address, go to Gmail, create an email account just for their use. So anything they do with Amazon, they're using that, they're using your logon and, and test it. Make sure you can't go and look at your, uh, all your own information that you don't want seen. Don't, you know, you can't change your bank account. I mean, that's the most important part, you know, not being able to change the bank account and you need to go and uh, see if you can change that information, see if you even have access to that information. And if they're only working on returns, then make sure they don't have access to the other information you don't want them to have access to. You're the only one that should have access to everything. And once you um, set all the settings how you want them, you just hit continue and everything's now been updated and uh, they can log in from that account. As you can see we'll log in. And here we are, there's one of our test accounts. So you can see they don't, they don't, they don't have access to, there's nothing on the screen about payouts. There's nothing uh, here. You, they only have access to the inventory tab. And if we go to settings, um, you know, it has shipping settings, gift options, and their own personal login settings. Um, so it is a very scaled down version of Seller Central, uh, granting them only access to what you want them to have access to.